Flights in and out of Britain's second busiest airport are suspended after drones were spotted flying in the area. This is what Gail is so worried about. Mm -hmm, 10,000 passengers are affected by the delays and cancellations at Gatwick Airport. Now, that includes 4,000 who are stuck at airports, unable to depart or arrive, and about 6,000 passengers who were on flights that were diverted. Roxana Saberi is at Gatwick Airport, south of London. Roxana, good morning. Good morning. Police are still hunting for the drone operators as this airport deals with a major disruption. As you mentioned, this is the country's second busiest airport and it was expecting a record number of passengers come here over Christmas. Just today, 760 flights through Gatwick Airport have been canceled or delayed. Some of those flights are heading to big American airports like Los Angeles and New York. Airport officials say the shutdown started around 9 last night after two drones were spotted flying over the airfield. The runway reopened about six hours later, but closed again after 45 minutes following another sighting of drones. The airport's chief operating officer says it's a, quote, deliberate act, but officials can't shoot down the drone because of the danger of stray bullets. Flying a drone near an airport here is illegal and punishable by up to five years in prison. Police do not think this incident is terror related, but we do know that terror groups have threatened to use drones as weapons in the past something that aviation and security officials have long feared happening at airports around the world. Gail? Yep, I worry about it too. Thank you, Roxana Sabiri, reporting from London's Gatwick Airport.